myself and Sam Baisley created Open Sanctuary as an artwork so that people could find it at the end of a pilgrimage as a destination point. Why I do pilgrimage is to actually engage with place itself. Now this is a symbol of the sanctuary. Whenever you create a space, the boundaries of a space, it makes the inner bit more protected. They really can help you engage with yourself, your emotions, the body, the people around you, the companions you come across, the, the, the strangers you meet on the path, the local communities, nature itself and the cosmos and everything beyond. I think for me it symbolises everything that's good about Winchester as a university. It's innovative, creative, it's getting people to think about and explore the really important issues around ethics, peace building, sanctuaries, so we're, we're really pleased to be involved. Both a physical and a mental sanctuary, it seems to me, somewhere which is cosmicised and has a centre as opposed to chaos. And to me, it brings the inside together with the outside. And to connect with the clay and to see that they were shaping uh, this clay and giving meaning to it and trying to be fully present in the moment, to then put it in this structure that, you know, is where many others have done the same before really brings about the only way in which we can actually build peace. That is by recognizing that we have a degree of responsibility, all of us, to make a better place in this planet and that we cannot do it on our own. As a destination, you've arrived and then you, you bring your stone or your, your ceramic piece of clay and then and you put it onto here. But then this is, that's, that's the end of it. There's been a process to get there. You take something from where you start and you hold it and then you sort of charge it up with your, your journey as you go and then you give it to the place at the end. And I think we all, maybe we don't necessarily believe in magic, but there's something magical about holding a stone and it becoming yours and becoming meaningful to you and then giving it away at the end in a ceremonial way. So I think it gets us in touch with our, in our inner child and when we get and when we start feeling like a child, life's better again.